the biggest piece of advice that I would give to first gen uh, students is college is difficult, it's challenging. And one of the ways, the best ways to navigate that is being willing to ask questions, being able to seek out answers, not being too shy, uh, and, and finding people that will support you and cheer you on. My family was a driving force in me pursuing higher ed. I was working what you would call some um, part-time dead-end jobs, and I knew there was just more out there for me. Uh, and so I chose Northwest State to study and I never regretted it for a moment. Uh, resources that I wish I would have had. I wish I would have had a lot more information and a lot more knowledge, particularly about uh, borrowing money and student loans. Uh, back when I went to school, being first gen, we really didn't know much. Uh, so we borrowed, I borrowed lots of money and then with my refund checks, I just used that money. I didn't really have a, an inkling as to how much my student loans were going to be. Uh, that is one of the first things, or probably the biggest thing, that if I could do it over again, I would. My biggest challenge within being a college student was finding the self-motivation and discipline um, into being um, a dedicated college student. Um, I had a hard time realizing when I was working full-time and part-time and going to school full-time of what needs were um, needed, I guess, what things were needed to be done. Um, so I had a hard time figuring out, should I work or should I go to school, should I do this, and finding all of the challenges that is when it comes to being a um, student, but also being a worker and trying to excel your career. The advice I would give to first-gen learners is basically when you're starting out in college, you really want to get to know your teachers and your professors um, simply because you want to get comfortable with them because you're going to have questions. And it's all right to talk to us. We enjoy it. Um, the other thing is be disciplined and set time aside for yourself for schoolwork and leisure because you don't want to get burnt out on either. Actually, at Northwest State, I completed a few, uh, several semesters, took a break, and uh, my grandfather, who um, was an immigrant from Mexico, actually challenged me and said, Joe, you need to continue your education. You need to get back into uh, that fight. Make sure you finish what you started. And so after a significant break uh, in college, you know, it was eight plus years, I decided to go back and finish. And that challenge um, coming from him was significant because he left in his entire country, his entire family, to replant here in the States. And so he was a first generation American in my family. And so I thought if he could replant his whole family, his whole future into a whole new state, whole new country, I can most assuredly do something hard. And so do something difficult as completing a bachelor's. When I got my first college degree, an associate's degree, I was already more than 70 years old. Um, I was asked to speak at commencement with the theme of it's never too late and you're never too old. So I say to the older people, the older viewers, that this is so true. Never give up, you're never too old and it's never too late. To our younger, traditional age students, uh, man, you've got the whole world in front of you. Make use of everything that's available. Uh, college is a wonderful way to be introduced to what follows in life. It's something that was just always embedded in me. It wasn't something that I was ever told to do or encouraged to do. Not to say I wasn't, but it was something that I just always knew I was going to do. And being a first-gen learner, I wanted to be the first and kind of set a tone and a standard for an example to be, to lead by. Well, when I started school, I wish I would have known how many students and faculty are first-gen just like me. And I wish I would have uh, been more comfortable to reach out to them and ask for help and utilize the resources on campus. Ask for help when you need it. Um, you're not alone. Schools have a lot of assistance and programs for first generation students and um, find your people and 
and know who you can go to for help and don't be afraid to ask for that help. I'm Dr. Tiffany Ludwig, I'm the Dean of Nursing and Allied Health, and I am first. I'm Felicia Skeens, I'm the Success Center Coordinator, and I'm first gen. I'm Terry Lavin, the Director of TRIO Student Support Services, and I'm first. Alan DePure, Writing and English Tutor, Success Center, I'm first. I'm Dr. John Tomlinson, I'm the Dean of the Vanwart Campus for Northwest State Community College, and I'm first. My name is Franklin Roberts. I am the Dean of STEM and Industrial Technology, and I'm first. My name is Jim Bellamy. I'm the Manager of Marketing and Communications at Northwest State, and I am first gen. Julie Dowlin, Biology Faculty, I'm first. I'm Joe Silva. I'm the Operations Manager here at CTS. I'm first. <laughs>